try one of the most bizarre and stomach-turning dirty dinings we have ever done. It involves cat feces, pigeon meat, and chicken bought off the street. And Local 10 News reporter Jeff Weinsier has tonight's dirty dining story. Wow, it smells in here. The place reeks of cat urine. As we walk in, there's a woman at a three-compartment sink, Hello? hard at work. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Jeff, which Channel 10. What the f is she doing? Hold on, there's a chicken in there. She tells us her place isn't open for the day. Inspection? The place is Mindy's Supermarket. It's across from the Hialeah Racetrack at 2602 Palm Avenue. We ask about the cats, and she says no, her violations revolve around plumbing and pipes. Gatos. No, gato. Era poner eso nuevo y abajo. As we walk toward the sink, she pushes the camera away with good reason. Is that chicken? Inside the sink, two brown paper bags with holes. That's apparently how the chickens came in here alive. In another section of the sink, a chicken. And this scene right here. You do it yourself? We are here because an inspector was here last week as well. Among the 19 violations, cat feces found under the front counter. Pigeon meat was thawing in the sink. She told the inspector, quote, it was given to her by a man off the street. The inspector noted cats in the dining room. We asked about the cat feces in the cats. She says, look around, there are no cats. And what about the chicken in the sink? Boyo, where'd you get the boyo from? She claims that chicken in the sink and the pigeon meat in the restaurant kitchen is her. No, 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 no. Her claim she makes broth with the pigeon meat and drinks it for her asthma, showing us how well she's able to breathe. Okay. This all going on in a restaurant open to the public. In the state of Florida, you cannot buy meat off the street from an unapproved source. Out back, we spotted at least four cats. Mindy's was not ordered shut. Remember, the state has discretion over that. But we thought the violations were so bizarre, the eating public, you, need to know. We move to Miramar Sam's Kitchen located at 6043 Miramar Parkway. You see uh, rats or rodents when you're you're here? Yeah, they're on, on their roof. They're in the roof? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I put everything outside to clean, put a garbage. Behind this restaurant, this woman has glasses, plates, serving utensils, and equipment outside. So is this stuff going to go back in the restaurant? No, everything for the garbage. You're throwing everything throwing, out? Throwing everything. You're washing it to throw it out? So, yeah. Last week, an inspector was here among the 11 violations, rodent droppings found all over the place, behind containers of cornmeal, next to clean containers, in front of the stove in the kitchen, behind a freezer, in the dining room, and at the front counter. This was inside, and it's dropping there. See yep. And they admit here it is hard to keep rodents out when they're in the roof of the shopping center, and they claim the landlord does little. All the places that were ordered shut were allowed to reopen following an ordered cleanup and then a reinspection. Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News.